Hi there! Today we're going to talk about should you use the SMART method of setting goals when you want to achieve your goals. Is that a smart way of using goal setting? Well, it depends if you're a man or a woman uh, because the SMART way of setting goals is very masculine. It has you focus on time. It has you focus on action. It has you focus on results and a few others. And the, the thing is, in uh, the whole business world, this is the only way that's being taught on how to set goals. My name is Tineke Rense. I help business women to scale and grow their business and double their income guaranteed. Now that's cool, isn't it? So why, in my opinion, women should not use the SMART method or only parts of it? So first of all, when you want to set a, a goal, you should feel aligned to it. You should feel, I love this. I can do this. Oh, what's going to happen? Be curious. Oh, I trust that I can do this. Wow, this is so amazing. I would never think uh, achieving this if I wouldn't be the person who can achieve this. So tune in to a prosperous feeling. Right? That's really important. So you are aligned with your goals. And remember, you would not get the idea or the desire if you would not be capable of achieving this goal. That's how the universe works. That's how it works. And I always say integrating the masculine and the feminine. So yes, there are some elements in smart goal setting that are important. Otherwise you will have no focus. You will have no direction. And that is very important in the goal setting process, but that's also important to be aligned with all the time. And alignment is feminine. Trust is feminine. Inner knowing that you will achieve it is feminine is abundance. If you doubt that you're going to make it, it's not abundance. It's focusing on the lack and that's what we often do. So for goal setting, first of all, you, you get this crazy idea. It should be a crazy idea. It should not be something that is not exciting you. It should be a crazy idea when, when you set a one to set goals. Then you attune to it. You feel connected to it. You can already see that it's going to happen. You, can, you already see yourself in this new realm, in this new goal, what you have achieved. So you already start acting as if it has happened. And don't say to yourself, well, this is crazy. I'm, I'm fooling. I'm just fooling myself. No, you're training your brain and your vibration to be in an abundance state. And then you start to take action. Yes, that's masculine, but you need to start doing something uh, to get closer to your goals. And also expect things to come your way. So trust that even though you don't know what's going to happen, something is going to happen to help you on the way to achieve your goals. Uh, and when you are in action, and there's nothing wrong with the masculine for women, uh, actually we even need to learn a bit more masculine. And need is also masculine, I, I recently uh, heard. Um, to be able to uh, set things in motion. Action is a movement. You always see energy behind someone who's, who's running. Eh? That's, that's how people draw it. It's, it's movement, it's, it's a shift of energy. So the, uh, and the beauty about action is something happens. So you're excited, you're thrilled about the outcome. So what's happening and eventually the action gives you a certain result, which is feedback. It's feedback that, hey, this is the right direction or mm, I'm not there yet, I need to start doing something else. But you would not have known that you need to do something else had you not started this action. And that's why you never need to know how you achieve a goal. That's the brilliant about setting goals in a feminine way. It's just you need to uh, connect with it and trust that you're the perfect person to do it and that this is the perfect time to start doing it. 
Now, what when you're in the next level and, and you've taken action, all of a sudden you can see lots of new possibilities and lots of new opportunities. You could not see them before you took the first action and then you continue. And then coincidence kicks in, all of a sudden somebody uh, uh, calls you and say, hey, um, I can help you with such and such. And you think, how did they know I needed that? And then all of a sudden you make a quantum leap towards your goal. Those things happen when you are aligned. And, I don't, and, and you never know what's going to happen. You don't know when it's going to happen. You don't know how it's going to happen. But if you trust the universe steps in and coincidences are going to happen, they will. And that will bring you a lot closer to your goals. So in that way, the masculine and the feminine integrates beautifully. Um, so that's my way of goal setting. Um, so the smart way of goal setting is just not complete. It just touches on one part of goal setting. It completely ignores the whole energy part, the abundance part, the universe part. So I hope you've learned something about this. Uh, when I work with my clients, all my clients achieve their goals, most often a lot more than we planned. Um, all my clients double their income within a year, guaranteed. And I can predict you within 15 minutes, a, a, a short call, I don't know you, but in 15 minutes I can predict if you are the right person or your business, both the combination, can double your income within a year. Uh, it's too short a time for me to sell to you, so that's not the intention. Uh, so why don't you do that? Why don't you schedule a quick 15-minute call with me to find out where, will you, where you want to be in a year from now and how you will get there, all right? And no, if you're the person who can double your income in a year, wouldn't that be nice to know, to find out if you're already there at that place? Go to my YouTube channel. Check Powerful Business Academy, or you can go to my Facebook group, powerfulbusinesswoman.group. So bye-bye for now, and I'll see you next week.